The secret door is a really cool one. Uh, Goose and I looked at each other like, yeah, dude, this is cool. We've never built a secret door before. I've always wanted to do it, but I just, it was never the right situation to do it. This is perfect. You're basically building a bookcase, but you're putting it on hinges so it opens. You take the old jams off, you take the trim off, you get right down to the two by four studs, and then I can reframe it for what I need. I needed to create more depth. Because the new secret door is gonna be a lot deeper than the door that was here. So you gotta actually increase the depth of this wall right here. I've gotta kick this out. So on this side for the new uh, secret door, we're gonna use some fluted trim. So I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna reuse the old trim that's here. But on this side, on the hallway side, I wanna reuse the existing trim because I want it to match what's in the hallway now. So what I've done here is you can see I added these two by fours. Right. right. I needed to increase the depth yeah. of the wall. Right. Because we couldn't just go with a standard wall because yeah, we got absolutely. this bookshelf sticking out the back. Right. So the next step now is we gotta add the other two by fours here. That gives us the depth that we need, and then we're gonna install our jams. We framed out the jams for the secret door. Now it's time to build the bookcase. Now before I built the bookcase, I built a, um, a little scale model to take up there and actually make sure that our pivot point, when we put it on our hinge side and we open it, that seven inch width is gonna clear the door jam. I got a tight snug right here. It's just hitting. I mean, it barely hits. It yeah. didn't even hit that tight. Didn't even hit. But it the hinge is gonna bring it out a little bit, so. Oh, okay. I think if we actually knock this back another quarter inch, we're right in there. Now we can move forward and build the bookshelf. Put the hinges on it, put it in place. Hopefully everything works right. The bookshelf will be completely constructed out of MDF, using the same dimensions as the template, and everything will fit perfect. I hope. So this is the back piece. This has our overall dimensions, 34 right. and 3 quarters wide and 79 and a half long. Right. Okay. And then we build out from that. Build out from that. But it's important that we get this piece the right size. Right. Everything else is going to fall, fall off right of this. It's going to look like a regular bookshelf with three shelves and a set of dummy doors on the bottom. They're for show, to trick people into thinking it's a real bookcase. And let's see if you can pull those out, guys. Okay. Did you bring those, anybody bring those screws up? I'm just, I'm hoping it works, man. <laughs> I've never built one before, so we'll see. Yes. Man, I love it when it works on the first try. The secret door was definitely custom for this. It worked amazing. Crazy, more than I could have ever expected. We opened the door and it was just, I'm just speechless. I just, it's just perfect. We took Dr. Jason Shepes' old laundry room and turned it into the ultimate Rat Pack hideaway. The rooms are concealed with a custom door that is disguised as a bookcase, and with the right touch, reveals the hideaway. <laughs>